myself and Brandon just discussed, I don't know if I'm going to have it done again uh, because the wood is really filthy because they got to scrape it off the dirt, the dirt pile. So probably next time we'll get it done out of the cord king. But this was an easy way to get uh, easy way to get a load of lumber. We have to physically hand each piece. I might have the additional for this load anyway the additional time and expense of having to wipe off or brush off every piece of wood from the dirt i hate to have to do that but that's kind of what we're stuck with here which is you know yeah like i say you know what you want but you take what you can get here so uh it's pretty dirty but it's wet soaking wet so it'll sit in the uh It'll sit in the back of this trailer for a few days. Maybe it might let it rain on it, so it might be a week sitting in here so it rains. So it, it uh, washes off something somewhat. It wouldn't be a full wash, but it might get off some of that loose stuff, which will end up brushing off every piece. Like I say, we'll end up brushing off every piece. Hey gang, well, you know, there are some things you have as a quandary as a firewood company. And uh, when you're doing bundle wood, a lot of times the bundle wood has to be just perfect, you know, two by two or three by three or whatever, just a nice square end. So what about those pieces that are kind of wonky, you know, that don't quite fit in a bundle just right? What do you do with that? You know, well, we have an answer for it and I'm going to show it to you. So what do we do with all those pieces that are all kind of wonky that don't fit into a bundle? We got quite a few of them. You know what we do with them? We put them in a bonfire in a box. And that's how we sell it. Bonfire in a box. Look out, Dan. See? So. Bonfire in a box. So we put it in there. Here, you hold this and watch me. Don't put your hands in front of there. Don't put your hands over there. Hold like this. Okay? See that wonky piece? It burns. It gives people the opportunity to be able to buy it. That's a piece of... Oh, that's a, a piece of uh, bark. Want to see these wonky pieces here? You think you can't sell them? Well, we sell them in bonfire in a box. Oh. See how we can fit that in there. Now, you take two of these, stick there in them, stick that in them. Right. And there you go. Look, bonfire in a box. Cool, huh? Thank you, Danny. You can hold it up, keep, keep holding it up, okay? Now with that bomb from the box, you know, I had to make a bit of a business decision. Um, we put a few out on our uh, firewood stand and we're selling it for the same amount as a bundle. We were hoping to get a little bit more for it, um, uh, pricing it a little bit different because the presentation is different, but we are out of wood except for what we have for bonfire in a box so we decided to just put it out there and see what it does see what kind of reception it gets we only put three boxes out because we are out uh, we are almost out of wood uh, for our firewood stand